welcome to Monkey Channel and to me it is Saturday today <laughs> uh, but not just any Saturday it is time for Orchid Society meeting it's that kind of Saturday today it's really exciting like usual but I've had to change um, our um, entertainer, so to speak, the one who's going to hold the meeting uh, and perform, so to speak. I, I'm not sure of what it's called right now. A little bit too tired. Um, I haven't woken up yet. But anyways, um, I had to change uh, that guy swiftly. Uh, he cancelled uh, in a haste. So we um, we'll asked another of our dear members if he would like to uh, stand in and uh, play his part. And he said yes. And he wanted to, uh, or shall we say, we wanted him to talk a little bit about Ketosydney type orchids. I, I just happened to miss all of the uh, previous occasions when he talked about Ketosydney type. So, well, <laughs> it's just an ego trip for me. No, not really. Um, I just wanted to see what he had to say and hear what he had to say. But anyways, so I'm, uh, I'm off in a haze, of course, in a hurry like usual so uh let's see what happens when i arrive back home again and if i'm gonna bring a few plants back home with me which i think i will like always um and we should talk in a sec Again, from the society meeting, it was nice as usual. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got a bloody tooth for getting a few more catacetinic types, but I will, for the moment, I will have to prevent myself from buying some more. Uh, <laughs> as you, uh, I guess you all know that I, uh, I have a tendency to um, overdo it a bit. <laughs> if you get one, I need to get 20 more, so... Well, not for the moment. It will have to wait. Uh, but I will show you what I got at uh, the meeting. A couple of new plants, of course, like usual. And I will also show you um, my Ketosedony types, the ones I got left. I haven't got all that men left. I gave away uh, many of them, the ones I had uh, to the guy lecturing today. Why not? I figured. Um, 
I needed a space and he always loves to get another Kedosetne type orchid. So yeah, it's a fair trade. Anyways, so let's get started. <laughs> I got a little uh, plant, Tillandsia. For the moment, I'm not sure what this one's name is. He told me, but I forgot. So, uh, therefore, I had to get yet another one. So now I have two. They're gonna hang in the cabinet. Um, I had, uh, some time ago, I had one or two smaller ones. Uh, it looked a bit like this, but not. Uh, not exactly the same varieties, but um, I had it in room temperature and I sprayed them with my sprayer, some water, and I believe they rotted, so uh, water will get stuck inside here, the leaf joints, and won't dry out uh, as fast as they need to, so uh, they can easily rot. So it's better to hang them up in a place um, a bit away from direct watering <laughs> and water drops drops of water <laughs> and just leave them be in high humidity so these guys are going to be uh, nice to follow mm. oh. <laughs> and I got the one I, I, I this one I know the name of <laughs> Tillandsia is oh jeez it's such a difficult name to uh, pronounce Ensinuidus Ensinuidus yes Spanish moss and along with it came a piece of his Dendrobium Lodigesiae So this piece will be mounted <laughs> And the owner to <laughs> this particular Lodigesiae Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he was a co-owner of the uh, Greenhouse a bit. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. but anyways <laughs> He told me this is my orchid <laughs> You cut my orchid along with the uh, moss so <laughs> and he was just kidding that one was a huge piece, so um, <laughs> this little piece didn't really make a difference to the whole plant, so I got to keep it. <laughs> so now I have a lot of Jesse eye. Yay! <laughs> and what else? Ah, I got a little bit, um, not warmer grower, but um, a dendrobium, which can tolerate a little bit of uh, house temperature inside <laughs> temperature apartment condition perhaps needs a repot I just noticed anyways it's the um, dendrobium fimbriatum I haven't got this one yet oh now I have it I haven't had this one before I was about to say uh, but I do think I need to spray this one with some kind of something maybe leaf shine or since um, this variety seems to be prone to getting um, thrips, it's getting silvery leaves with uh, black spots to them. So that I will prevent this time. But other than that, I think this variety grows kind of great in my conditions if the thrip stays away. Yellow, lovely flowers. This intermediate temperature doesn't need any drier, cooler winter rest. That's nice. And somewhat a replacement plant to the Silavensiae. Well, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't made the update on the not only peach and cream, the uh, orchids yet. So now you assume that it's dead. But I can assure you it's not. But when I saw this one of this size in bud. Well, sweet. So it's called Dendrobium sylvansiense or Dendrobium glomeratum, intermediate uh, condition orchid, shall be watered year round, all year round, but uh, not severely during the winter month but no cooler conditions or such I, I think it's going to be fine in the cabinet my old one did fine until it received shall we say got hit by the yellow spot fungus so um, I will keep this one a bit away from the dripping area where it's most 
humid, so we shall see. And I will not report it. She'll stay in its spark. Yes! And now let's take a short peek at my Ketosedony type orchids, the ones I got left. Only a quick peek. Ta da! All three in one go, in one grip. <laughs> yes, look at this one, my latest purchase, with loads of roots. Yes, it's um, it's an orchid. I I have yeah. I'm a little bit um, obsessed with this one, as I said. Three clock around, Fred Clark Yara. Three road cross, three or four road cross. After dark, Sunset Valley orchids. FCC AOS. The one I received from Orchid Garden. My first purchase from Orchid Garden in many years, or several years, shall we say. It's a good size one, fat, suitable, um, but there's something I need to wear my glasses. <laughs> oh yeah, it's an eye, and there's an eye, there's something there, something there as well. Could be a beginning already of another new growth, or perhaps a flowering spike. If this one uh, keeps the same schedule, blooming schedule and habit as the um, After Dark Black Pearl, it shall bloom in yeah November, December, January, perhaps. So this one might as well um, put out a spark here. We shall see. Not much happening, only a small trickle of water during dormancy. That's how I keep them. And um, here's the jewel. <laughs> ah, my lights went out. Yeah. Um, see now, it's the uh, After Dark Black Pearl. Says something here. Uh, <laughs> I cannot see it. May 17. I think I got it. Or something. <laughs> I cannot even read my own handwriting. That's bad. Uh, here's the um, new pseudobulb. Really large. A little bit not so wide at the base as I would have preferred. But wide enough. Um, the pseudobulb it bloomed from is no longer with us. It rotted off. And that happens naturally. Nothing wrong with it or strange about it. This one is better, it's fatter to the bottom, to the base here, and the newest one, the climbing one here. There's something here, you see it. It doesn't look like a new growth, it looks like uh, it's got some potential of some blooming this year. It would be about time, really. Four years ago, I think, this one bloomed for me, so you better do something, yeah? And that <laughs> dead silence. <laughs> All right. Um, here's another one, another favorite of mine. So I just figured I would keep the favorites I've got, so uh, not over exaggerate. Moniara, Moniara, three or four road cross as well. Millennium Magic Witchcraft, also an awarded plant from uh, 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 Sunset Valley Orchids. This particular one came from Swart. <laughs> yeah, let's see now if we got anything going on. Nice, strange behavior, a little root emerging there. A little something there. Um, I don't think there will be any flowers this season either. For us, this one shall be. Uh, flowering size, so uh, yeah, but just a trickle of water every now and then, and we shall see. So not much of an update. I I was expecting a little bit more, but it's it's a bit a little bit too early uh, in the season, so um, to really decide what's going to happen. So I bet we'll need to wait um, at least one more month to see the results. 
So guys, um, yeah, <laughs> that would be it for this little um, session. No repartings, nothing. I'm not sure it's going to be necessary. I'm not sure if that's going to be needed on the new ones I got. So, um, well, <laughs> thanks for watching. And we should talk soon. And please do leave a comment down below. If you liked it. Take care. Bye-bye.